for a flimp. Eel. Green and yellow just to match my brim. Steel. Hi, I'm Paula Miranda. Thanks for watching me on the New Era channel, brought to you by Zoom. Um, my career is actually very interesting. It started off when I was 13, walking down the streets in Broadway in New York. And um, this woman came from behind and was out of breath and asked me if I'd ever modeled before. And at the time, I was 5'9", and I was 13. So that's what kind of started my modeling career. After coming to Los Angeles, I started doing a lot more commercials. And uh, the natural progression from there was to finally pursue one of my childhood dreams of becoming an actress. So. Uh, at 25 I started acting and I first one of the first films that I actually read for and auditioned for was a Bruce Willis Halle Berry film called Perfect Stranger and in that I played Bruce Willis's wife. As a woman in, in the industry that I'm in obviously um, you know there's a lot of breaks that you can get at times and you as, as a woman I take advantage of some of those just because I know that you know it's an asset in a lot of ways to walk into a room and you already demand a certain amount of power and respect just because you're a woman sitting at the top of a table that is filled with men. I would say one of the, the people that, I'm, that I look up to and I would say mentor in my life uh, would be Frida Kahlo. She definitely stands for a lot. She wore a lot of different hats and I think first and foremost she is an amazing artist and very talented and self-taught and the whole thing. I think she's brilliant. Um, Secondly, her political activist um, movements that she kind of created and the way that she just wasn't afraid of her opinion being expressed and she never apologized for any way that she might think or anything she might have said and she was just real. The advice that I would give young women who want to pursue the career path or one of the many career paths that I've had, um, I would definitely say that they should make sure that their skin is really tough because it's a cutthroat business and there's a lot of nonsense involved and you just kind of have to stay focused on what you really want and don't let anything else sway that opinion and that, that want and dream for, from you, period. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Lil Mama, a.k.a. the voice of the young people, and I'm part of the new era. A lot of the things that I represent, which is definitely positivity and strength, um, is something that they're not looking for right now in my field. And in order to gain your respect, you have to like, be a person like me who respects yourself first. And once you lose that respect, you lose everything. And representing the young people, being the voice of the young people, I feel that it's my place to always remember who I am and what I represent. So it's definitely pressure, but at the same time, there's no there's no win without a fight. The way that this translates through my music is um, by not, I, I would have to say, like not using profanity and um, being positive. Uh, like when you're in a battle, it's like you gotta be hard, you gotta come strong. This is, it's not even um, a war or a fight. It's, it's more or less, uh, I would have to say, a competition, and only the strong survive. So you have to come hard, but you don't have to be disrespectful. Hi, my name is Michelle Ten. I'm a fashion stylist. The name of my company is Misfit Styles. What I do is um, I'm basically hired by either different publications or different record labels to work on um, projects, mostly um, wardrobing whether it's models or celebrities for either editorial, music videos, album packaging, things of that nature. As a little girl, I used to um, buy magazines and cut out my favorite looks or pages in the magazine, and then I would paste them into a photo album and create my own magazines out of them. In 2000, I, um, I was approached by someone that worked at the magazine saying that they needed a fashion assistant. And that's how I started working at The Source. Um, I left there about two years later and um, began freelancing immediately. I worked with Sean Kingston on his first album. I've worked with Tony Touch. I've worked with Ciara, Chris Brown, um, Puffy, Daddy Yankee. 
I think if I had to define myself for one song, it would be I'm Every Woman by Shaka Khan. Because I feel like I'm, I'm very versatile and I've been told at times that I'm somewhat of a chameleon. Like I can totally go from one place to another and look completely different. You know, I also like wearing lots of different clothes. I don't really define myself by one personal style or aesthetic. I just always like to, whatever it is that I'm wearing, I just always like to take it up a notch. The advice that I give them is to be very diligent and not give up. It's not it's not a hard thing once you're there. You know, it definitely takes time to get to a certain level and cultivate your skills, but it's really about being diligent, being humble, um, hardworking, and just knowing not to give up, because like anything else, it has its ups and its downs. Uh, my name is Sarah Shui. I am an event producer. I have a company called Pink Cloud Events, and we specialize in pairing brands and organizations with fine artists and eco-friendly resources. I uh, worked for about six years in like different facets of the event industry. I worked in audiovisual. I worked in catering, and I worked in um, venue management. And then after that, I was like, okay, like done working for other people. I've got like really great ideas. I've got like really good like knowledge and experience. So then I started Pink Cloud. So I came out on this platform like we're going to do sustainable events. The whole like green movement in LA at least and I guess more or less in the United States just started to explode. And so people were really picking up on like what I was doing and that's how I got to have my company to be running for two years now. It's great. <laughs> Music uh, makes me more creative. Like kind of massages my brain so I listen to a lot of music when I have to come up with different ideas um, like visually and like just in terms of experience like I hear it and like it, I see like different visual things and patterns and it like helps me create. I think it's really good to actually go out and experience a lot of life like on your own separately from just a career like da -da 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 -da, at least with events you know because you are basically bringing life to people you know so you've got to have a good life to be able to share that with others.